Categories and Labels Hi! As promised in the previous tutorial, here comes Categories and Labels. They are powerful features for creative and productive people like you. Let's see how they work. Categories are like contexts in the Getting Things Done methodology. They could stand for places, people, or tools. And our users keep finding new ways to use them. It's great to adapt them to your own workflow. Let's create some standard categories like phone, home, work, errands, and a few more that could be useful for us. As you see, you can choose an icon and a color for each of them. Next, we assign relevant categories to specific tasks. This one is crucial for our project and its deadline shouldn't be missed. Let's just click on the task, choose a category, and confirm our choice. I'll add categories to other tasks and be back in a bit. Remember that you can also add a category to many tasks at once using edit mode. Just use the three dots button at the bottom of your task list. Look at our priority list now. You can see a category icon below each task. The cool thing is you can filter your priority list by category if you want to shorten your list and focus on the most important tasks. It's simple. You can also see all your categories in a separate pane. They are divided into active categories and those with no tasks assigned. Choose a category to check out all relevant tasks. Labels. Now let's switch to labels. We think that too much structure isn't effective in the long run, so instead of introducing projects, sub-projects, or sub-sub-projects, we offer project labels. These are like categories, but you assign them to projects. They work in the same way, which means you can assign numerous labels to one project. To assign a label, simply go to your project, use the eye icon in the top right corner to get to the info bar, and click Choose Labels. Here, you can also create new labels and assign them to your project. Let's add the private label to some personal projects and the work label to the job-related ones. If you have multiple projects related to your private life, label them as private. This way, you'll be able to easily filter your private tasks in your priority list view. It's a very useful feature if you have a lot of tasks on your priority list and need to group them. It's also the best way to quickly switch from your work tasks to private ones and the other way around. We have some work and some home-related tasks on the priority list. When at work, ask Nosby to show only your work-related tasks. It's much easier to focus and get things done if you are not distracted by the tasks planned for later. This is just one example how you can use project labels. In the next video, you'll see the calendar view in Nosby. You'll also learn some nice tricks to simply get everything done with Nosby.